In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this cool star and then how to copy it randomly around the canvas. Let's get into that. Okay, so I'm going to make four variants of this star. So let's start with the easiest one. Uh, switch to the star tool, change the corners to four, click and drag and hold control to snap so it's in the middle. Then still hold control and push this little into the middle. And this is our first star. Um, we can convert it to the path. And now we can work on our first variation. So I'm going to copy it, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Then go to Life Path Effects and then look for B spline. Apply it and just change this ratio a little bit. And then select the middle parts with the node tool and make sure uh, scaling is enabled and I'm going to push it into middle by holding ctrl and shift and push it a little to the middle and this is our first variation uh, when we are happy with this shape we can convert it to the path again I'm going to copy this again and do a slightly different variation by adding rounded corners and selecting the middle part and dragging these green nodes and also I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to select the middle and push it slightly to the middle for a little extreme shape and the last one which is going to be the same again so copy past and add rounded corners and just round all of the nodes so we have a slightly newer shape but let's maybe make it a little less in the center so I'm holding ctrl and shift and scale in it okay uh, so basically this is our particles that are going on the sky and I'm going to create one more and it's just small circle so there is more interest so now I'm going to make sure that all of them are outlined so we have no problems so I'm going to select them all and click outline all of these are paths correct now I can scale them down by holding control to keep the same ratio and I'm going to create a background actually I'm going to put it on a new layer so let's create a new layer and create the black background okay now we can lock it so it's, we are not interfering with that I'm going to change the colors to white so we can better see what we are doing and I'm going to put uh, this one in the middle actually I'm going to put them all onto this layer and copy this one past it and make it huge and I can also put it here and lock it and maybe rename it okay so I'm going to select all of my particles and group them so it's easier to work with and uh, double click inside this group and select all of these particles and now we can switch to the spray tool and change the width to something like 40 amount something around 5 so that's quite small amount and scattering to 100 now if i start clicking and dragging it will start copying my stars randomly so i can do that if i missed and misplaced stars to the place where i don't want them i can switch to delete mode and just delete them Okay, so now we have some copies, maybe I can add a few more in the middle. And now I can make them smaller. So if I change my tool to tweak tool 
and select all of my particles. So I will select all of my particles by holding shift and click. Then I can go to the scale mode and just set width to something bigger, maybe 20. As far as 100, it seems good. And I can start scaling them down by clicking and moving my mouse. Also, I can move them around by changing modes to this and softening force. I can also randomize them and also push them apart together or apart by holding shift. Okay, so cool part about this, I have a full art direction control over every single star and now I'm kind of happy with my placement and size. I'm going to tweak the colors of this. So important part is that uh, this particle, they cannot be clones if you want to change color. So make sure all of your particles are still selected, change modes to color go to fill and stroke and now you can change the color you want to change this to so in this case i want to paint some blue ones so i'm going to blue and make some blue make sure that all of these three are enabled we don't want the opacity right now but maybe we want but uh, so this is you this is saturation and this is lightness you can uh, isolate it but for now I want them to be blue and I can start drawing my colors and I'm going to add blue and now I want to add some purples to make it more interesting and maybe some more pink and reds okay now I want them to fade out as they go away from the star. So I'm going to disable hue and saturation. I want to keep that, but I want to uh, affect just lightness. So I'm going to make them darker. So now I'm going to change the darkness. So I'm going to basically paint the black on them. If I set black here. Cool thing about this is that I still can move it if I want to. And I'm going to reorder so big star is always on the top. And if I do that I need to reselect all of my particles. Okay, this is basically it. And now if I want I can add more details but basically this is crop the effect and I hope you have fun and now you can see me how I finish this.